Hey guys, in this oxygen not included drill down, I would like to talk to you about the glass forge. And one of the very best videos that I have seen about glass in general is by InSpace. He's on YouTube. He covers all the different uses of glass, how to go about using the glass forge. Does a really excellent job of it in a very short period of time, so I highly recommend it. And I will link it in the comments below. So this is my takeaway from his video. He suggested that you use a bit of water to drop your glass into because the liquid absorbs the water slowly and cools down the glass quickly. And one of the biggest problems with using the glass forge is apparently overheating. Let's see if I can find, there it is the temperature overlay. So as you can see, this area is getting very hot. And one of the things that he suggests in order to cool the glass forge down is to put a bottle emptier nearby and just keep pouring water over it. Unfortunately for me, my duplicates have been a bit slow about getting water out here, even though I've got it set to accept water and I have it set to a nine. They have so far not brought any water out this way. I may just continue to use this liquid valve. I currently have it set up so that it can pour water into here when the water depletes. That's assuming it turns into steam, which is something I am in the process of testing. And I may just put another vent out this way and pipe water out from the valve directly since this is taking longer than I had hoped. Regardless, that's what this little mesh tile is here for so I can drop water onto the forge to cool it down periodically because you don't want something this high temperature around your plants. Your animals are okay, but if you're doing a lot of farming, this is going to heat up the areas where you're farming substantially so I'm a bit worried about this I might try to insulate between here and down here to contain some of this heat in this room a little bit better so what I've done is of course I have a glass forge and the glass forge has a decor hit and it's negative 15 so it's not super bad but then you also have to worry about pipes you also have to worry about any wires that might be visible like this one in the back here uh, you have to worry about storage bins i like to put storage bins near my workstations so this storage bin contains sand so they can just go a few feet and pick up the sand and put it in the forge and then this one is for glass and then they can just come to the water and take the glass out after it's cooled down. Not very many steps. I also had to put an oxygen diffuser back here because this area was very low on any sort of gas for some reason. And I don't have oxygen masks or exosuits yet. So pump, piping some oxygen back here seemed to be the best way to handle this. And of course, that's also a hit for decor. So my first thought was, well, I'll just put a statue back here next to the forge. The nice thing about the statue is that it has a really high melting point. So this is not going to get near that high. So I don't have to worry about the statue melting. And anytime my duplicate is standing here working, they're getting a bonus from being next to this lovely sculpture. After a few moments, though, I kind of thought about the idea that I've been playing with lately which is getting the great room bonus so if you've been watching any of my videos I have my base set up so that I get a great hall bonus for this stretch of hallway and a nature bonus for this stretch of hallway and that means that anytime my duplicates are passing from one end of the hallway to the other they're getting plus 12 because the rooms compound. Having more than one nature reserve in an area doesn't help, but having two different rooms in the same area helps a lot. And if they walk away, I don't know if 
buffs wear off over time but I would imagine if I put another great room you know down here and actually I do have another great hall here that it would just prevent them from losing the buff if I continued to hopscotch the different rooms like this you won't get more than a plus 12 at any one time but at least you won't lose the buff so thinking about that made me think about setting up this forge as a great room and one of the problems that i was worried about is that excuse me the great hall cannot have any industrial machinery in it so of course things like your power generators and stuff like that are going to count as industrial machinery and they're going to break your great hall but i thought well why not so i just threw a mess table back here and a water cooler. I was going to put an espresso machine back here because you just need a recreational building and I didn't have a place for the espresso machine but it's three wide so I can't put it back here until I can get rid of this oxygen diffuser and then when I do that it's also slightly taller so I lose this painting and right now with the water cooler and the mess table in here everything fits just perfectly and if you look closely Voila, I'm getting the great room bonus of plus six. So anytime someone is back here picking up goods or working on the forge, not only are they getting a reasonable decor bonus, at least a mitigation of a lot of this junk that's going on, but they're also getting a plus six for working back here. So glass forge, a nice statue next to it, a water pit with a vent and the vent is connected both to a water supply and to the forge so that the glass comes out the same way and I used insulated pipe coming from the forge so that the pipe would be less likely to break and just regular pipe for the water then I have two bins one for glass and one for sand a mess table you're not going to need the oxygen diffuser probably but this space could be used for something else then I have the water cooler and the painting. You could probably just omit the painting and put the espresso machine back here. You'd get less of a decor bonus, but it would still work. I don't think I'd put anything like the paintings over near where the glass comes out because this area gets very hot. Anything stone is okay, but I wouldn't do anything like this over near the forge. Anyways, that's my drill down on the forge. And I hope it's given you some ideas and I hope it helps. Have a great day.